Hello and welcome to the review of the Alcatel Smart Flip. Have you ever wanted a phone with some features but not a whole lot of features? Well, this is the phone for you. It runs KaiOS, it's got 4 gigabytes of storage, but it's also expandable via micro SD. It has a flip functionality. Woo! So, you know, that's a thing. Forget your, you know, fancy Galaxy Z flips. No, this is where it's at. But honestly, this phone is not that bad. And we're just going to test some things, show some samples of how the camera looks in case you plan on doing some videography with this thing, which I really wouldn't recommend. But you certainly can do it and see what the store has and see all that. So, of course, first thing you see is that it closes and it opens. That is a primary function of this thing. But there's also some apps that you can download in the KaiOS store. Uh, your volume rocker's over here. The side, you've got the uh, auxiliary port, which is rare. You don't see that nowadays. And, of course, uh, you have the micro SD charging there. Not USB-C, but this phone's already a few years old, so, of course, you'd expect that. So, uh, you have your pad here. All the necessary buttons for you to function. When you hit the center OK button, takes you into all the options here so as you can see I already have some things pre-downloaded because I have fiddled with this phone before you've got calls and the KaiOS store so it's not Android it's kind of a different operating system but they still have some games and apps that you'd be interested in downloading there's the browser which will also check music FM radio email notes all the necessary things that you would need to uh, use this phone as your daily phone, your daily driver, I suppose, if it really came down to that. But in reality, I'd recommend this phone as a backup phone, just in case one day, you know, your fancy iPhone 12XR plus maximum uh, dies on you because you dropped a grain of rice on it, then, you know, you also have this phone, you know? So there you go. So. First thing, you check the store, and let's see what kind of apps they have. They have a wide variety of many, many apps. Well, of course, that's not true, but they do have some apps. It's actually connected to my Wi-Fi, so it should be loading right there. As you can see, right off the bat, you got some games here. Uh, let's see. They got quite a few options. These are just the recommended, but they have education games social including whatsapp and facebook which does come in handy the type of people who would buy a phone like this would also have whatsapp or facebook so you've got a reddit client so not the official app but it's something that lets you go on to reddit probably uh using a browser kind of thing they've got a twitter Ooh, they got some other things i'm not aware of and i'm not too familiar with They've got all these games here, and if you search, you can find some other things too. So let's right off the bat just see how fast it downloads a game. Let's download this one, Falling Ball. Why not? So let's hit Get, Installing, Done. That's very simple. These games have to be just a few megabytes each, I'm sure. They're very small and simple games after all. Uh, You've got utility apps, lifestyle, uh, news, entertainment, plenty of things that you would need. So, let's go back. And now it's updating the store. Okay. There you go. Of course, you got your browser, which is something, you know, everybody needs a browser in their phone. So, let's see. Let's just try. Well, I'm not going to do that. Let's just try to go to Google. Now, this takes me back to the day where... I would be texting like this. My first phone was actually a flip phone, so I am pretty good at that. And bam. And as you can see, it's got the cursor, so it uses you can use this like little pad here, the directional pad as the cursor or the mouse. So click on this, let's just look up P there we go. And bam, let's see how long it takes to look up images. There you go. So 
pretty fast overall not bad hey i mean for the money this is about all as good as you're gonna get this phone you can get around 30 40 dollars maybe 50 dollars but i would definitely not recommend anybody paying over 50 dollars for this flip phone even with all its uh interesting features for being a flip phone uh so of course this is a Cricut phone, so you can use it on the Cricut service, probably $25 a month, more or less is what I pay because I have a family plan. Let's go ahead and open up one of these games. Let's open up the one we actually just downloaded, which is this Falling Ball. I bet this game is as good as it gets. Uh, let's see. Okay, first thing is an ad, and I didn't want to see that, but okay. Let's hear. Let's hear the speaker. And what's going on? Oh, I see. It's kind of like those Chuck E. Cheese kind of games where you drop the ball and you want it to hit something specific. That's not terrible. I mean, it's uneventful. But I think I'm doing pretty good there we go let's play one that's a little more interesting let's do this quick racing game i'm sure this is better than asphalt 29 whatever asphalt we have now quick race let's hear the music and this let's raise this up europe dubai india alps let's do europe okay that's really loud actually Surprisingly good speaker. Four, six, okay. Dang it, I probably should have. Let me go back. I did not. Well, okay, well, I guess we will wing it. How do I accelerate? Okay, it's just auto accelerate. Okay, and I'm driving. It looks like a. Like a 16 bit kind of game. These are some intense graphics right here. I'm impressed. Woof. And we're driving at 200, 240 kilometers per hour. All right, I got some more gas. So, that's a game. And the speakers actually sounds pretty good. I'll put this louder. And of course, it's on the back. yeah not bad not bad at all pretty good actually so of course to get to your like quick widgets right here you just go to the right you've got all these options don't get too excited with the uh, google maps it is not a full google maps experience it literally is just like what uh, MapQuest used to be in the day which it would just give you directions and i remember back in the day having to print out directions when traveling out of jersey to somewhere else so that is very, very interesting. And the YouTube also, if I'm not mistaken, also just basically takes you to a browser because as you can see, there's the, the cursor. And uh, let's play something that hopefully will not get me demonetized with YouTube's, you know, uh, content ID stuff. I don't know how it works. I haven't made a video like this in several years. So let me just put royalty free music and see what i get not royal family not royals although i do love lord royalty Ro how do i hit that there you go free music there we go a uh, beat sure why not okay let's go with that and let's click on a video not a playlist there we go let's click on this as you can see, an interesting experience. Pretty good. Let's fast forward through this song a little bit, see if... Oh, there we go. Interesting, interesting. Not bad at all. Hey, in a pinch, 
it'll work. So take it, you know, as you will. Uh, now I'm going to take this phone outside as I walk my uh, my canines. They're big and ferocious, so they need plenty of time to walk. And as I walk them, I'll record and show pictures that I take right after this. Benji, Nico, let's go for a walk. Come on, let's go. Let's go outside. Actually, it's cold outside, so I need a jacket. I got the camera app ready to go, so let's see. Okay, <laughs> stay there, Benji. Nico, Nico, come here, Nico, come here, Nico. Let's take some aesthetic pictures. And lastly, a video. Come on, Nico. Come here. Come here, Nico. Nico, Benji. Well, it looks like they gotta use the bathroom. Go back inside. Come on, Benji. Come on, come inside. Come on, Nico. 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 He does that. He'll come in when he wants. And just for reference, I'll take a low light picture. Hey, Nico. Nico, look at Huh? <laughs> These pictures look interesting. And lastly, one with just neutral light. There we go. So, as you can see with the pictures that I will show just before that I record this, uh, it's serviceable. It'll work. Do I recommend it? No. But... As a backup phone, yes, like it'll work. And for perhaps someone who's elderly or you don't need a phone to really give you all the options and and all the features that newer phones have, then this phone will work just fine, honestly. And for the price of somewhere between thirty and fifty dollars, I got this, I believe, for like twenty eight with taxes, like thirty dollars. I do recommend it as a backup phone so honestly not not the worst thing it's pretty good and i recommend as totally as a backup or just as a burner thank you guys for watching if you want to see more videos please comment below subscribe and i'll see you all later